Hello, and welcome to the first video in a series that takes a closer look at a new ChemCAD 7 feature, Property Sets. Property Sets are part of the major improvements to our reporting system. These serve as templates to specify the information that is displayed in a stream report, quick view pop-up, and also in stream data boxes. This video will introduce the basics for generating a stream report in the new system. The first thing you want to do when generating a stream report is to select the information that you'll see. This can be done from the report menu heading at stream reports. ChemCAD 6 users will notice that the individual stream compositions and stream property reports are no longer present. That's because these have both been rolled into the stream reports menu item and now appear as property sets, as in the listing here to the right. The highlighted option Select Active Property Set refers to the report template that will be used when generating any report from this menu. Whether you're using the select streams or any of the stream groupings provided to you below. By default, stream property is the active property set. ChemCAD 6 users will all be already be familiar with the default three property sets because they are equivalent to their ChemCAD 6 report counterparts. Quick view and stream composition are essentially the same and are focused on flow rates, whereas stream property is more detailed and lists physical properties in addition to the flows. So, to generate one of these reports, make sure the property set you wish to use is set as active and is indicated, that is indicated by the check mark. In this case, I'll just stick with stream property and I'll go to select streams I'll select my stream and click OK. And now I've generated a stream properties report for stream A. To change which report you'll see, just go back to Report, Stream Reports, select Active Property Set, and select the new property set that you'd like to use for your next report. If I'd like to change to stream composition, I'll just click. And then if I needed to generate a report, I could go back, select my streams, and generate a stream compositions report. But typically, when you're working with a flow sheet and you want to generate a quick report, you'll use the right click menu for streams. If I right click, I have the same stream reports menu item and it shows the three property sets available in this simulation. This works similarly to the previous method, but in this case you'll pick the property set that is used directly each time you generate a report, and this makes switching between report styles a little bit easier. So if I'd like to generate the stream composition report, all I'll do is click here and immediately generates that report for stream 8. Right-clicking a unit op gives you a similar menu item for stream reports. And in this case, it's the same as right-clicking the stream, but it will generate that stream report for every stream that is connected to this unit op. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Check out our other ChemCAD 7 feature videos to learn more and there will be additional videos focused on property sets upcoming.